Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com here with 2122 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball Hobby Edition. Four box, pick your team, lucky, 13? I hope so. All cards ship, and it's from a fresh case. So fresh and so clean. Do, 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 Big thanks everybody for uh, getting in on the action on a Tuesday. It's got a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in the filler that we did. Thanks everybody for the late night rally, appreciate it. Now, let's see what we got. We got that marked YouTube, that was our case. Um, initially, I thought this was the only case left, but it looks like we got a couple more, so keep an eye out for more after we rock, break your team, uh, pick your team, break your team? Pick your team 13 and 14, and 15. That'll finish off this case, and then there'll be the next case loaded up. I don't know if those other two cases, when we got them, who we got them from, and what price we got them from. So don't be surprised if the prices are a little different after this set of boxes. So we're doing four box breaks. So let's shave two boxes off the top of there and two boxes off the top of here. And we'll roll the die. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six for each stack. It's four. One, two, three, four. And we'll save these for next time. So we'll mark those with some X's right there in the middle of the box, just so we know they're from the same case. They, these boxes may get mixed up, but at least you know they're from the same case. Are there, are there case hits? I don't know if there's traditional, like, a guaranteed one per case something, but it's good to try to keep track as best as possible. All right, box one of four. Good luck. I, want, I was saying this just before the video, but we're sort of in a hoops no man's land. There's, we're just, everyone's just kind of waiting kind of waiting for training camp to start when we're really going to start to get some big news, right? But let's see what HoopsRumors.com has for us. Uh, Sixers and Montrez Harrell agreed to a two-year deal. Warriors working out Ben McLemore, Alfred Payton, and others. Cavs, no rush to extend Karis LeVert. That's about it. I mean, Mavs, that was, we saw that news already. Mavs, considering handling, adding a veteran ball handler, which I think is important. Jazz trading Donovan Mitchell, that was sort of the big deal uh, of the, the big news in the recent days. So we're just, we're just waiting for, we're just waiting for basketball camp to start. And then we're gonna start entering a really awesome part of the sports calendar where we're gonna have regular season basketball and hockey in like October, postseason baseball in October. We're probably gonna be what what five, six, seven weeks into probably be halfway through the NFL season before you know it through October, right? Got the World Cup in November. Ooh. Noel, what's up? Noel saying, man, my T-Wolves need to win a playoff series, please, for the love of God. How do you feel about your, uh, how do you feel about the Rudy Gobert move? I feel like you guys gave up a lot, but it's a good addition just on paper. But I feel like a lot was given up there. But I like the team, though. All right, let's go. Got a Davion Mitchell and an Eric Gordon to 99. LeBron James, 75 years of the NBA, silver. That's for my Lakers. Sean Maddock has the Lakers. Eric Gordon for Houston, Adam Kelly to 99. And Davion Mitchell going to the Kings for Darren Porterhouse State. And then Evan Mobley right up on top. There's a little... I don't want to mess with it too much, but I feel like you can. That's just a little bit of uh, adhesive. I think you can clean off there. Uh, Evan Mobley for the Cavs. Sean Maddock. 
Come on, there's a little schmutz all over the place here. What's going on here? All right, you should be able to clean that up a little bit. All right, photon ready Bullock. Got a Josh Christopher rated rookie hollow. Let's see if we can find his teammate. Jalen Suggs, Orlando, Adam Kupperman, and Brandon Boston Jr. for the Clippers. I feel, he got some, I feel like he got some significant minutes last year on that injury-plagued Clippers team. Kevin with the Clip Show. It's going to be a dangerous team if they're all healthy. James Harden, Nets addition to 199. Yeah, I like Gobert too. Just a lot was given up for him, but I think he fits really well on that team. We'll do a left-right randomizers for... Oh, well, they're both on the Jazz, so I'll use a different example. When we find one. We got a retro series, 31 out of 99, Joakim Noah. Right there. Only one autograph per box on average. We got, we got two, an above-average box. Joakim Noah for the Bulls, Rob. 31 out of 99. We got a Jalen Green, the rookies. That'll be for the Rockets. Adam Kelly with Houston. Davion Mitchell, line green to 149. Like seeing those parallels. There you go, Darren. Thanks for grabbing the king straight up. I think he has them in the entire case. There we go. That'll be left-right randomizer on that. Unless the card is numbered, we'll separate those out. Jalen Green rated rookie card. Another one for Adam and the Rockets. Now let's see if we can find some, some parallels of that guy. And stargazing, Anthony Davis. I think a lot of my Lakers season depends on the health of that guy. Even even more so than even more so than LeBron. So Knowles, uh, I've got the Timberwolves depth chart loaded up according to ESPN.com. I don't know how updated this is, but but yeah, D'Angelo Russell at point. I like that. Anthony Edwards highlight reel at the two. I like that. Jaden McDaniels. I feel is pretty solid. I think he's still pretty young too. I like that. And then you got Carl Anthony Towns and Rudy Gobert in the front court. Ooh, that's a pretty balanced team if you think about it. Guess what? Guess what Carl Anthony Towns doesn't have to do anymore? <laughs> Play as much defense. Guess what Rudy Gobert doesn't have to do anymore? Be counted on to play offense. So Rudy Gobert, just be like, hey, Rudy, listen. You, you know, you get some points here and there. But you don't have to worry about that. Just protect that rim, play some defense, clock up the paint, you know, knock down some aggressive point guards who think they could get to the rim. You know, play play tough down there. And you got Carl Anthony Towns moving around, doing whatever he wants to. He can help on defense. Two big men in the middle. Or you can go outside, shoot some threes. What are you gonna do? Their spacing is great. D'Angelo Russell can distribute the ball pretty well. I feel like you know, a little rocky start with the Lakers, but I think over the years has, has developed into a really nice uh, high IQ basketball player. Can shoot the ball pretty well too. You know, and then you got the aggressive Anthony Edwards slashing into the basket, making highlight dunks. Man. You got some Nas Reed, Kyle Anderson, Bryn Forbes, Torin Prince, some decent guys, Jalen Noll on the bench. Mm. It's a well-balanced team to me. Now, as Noel was saying, please, for the love of God, let's at least win a playoff series with that team. I think this is it. This is, I mean, they gave up so much for Rudy Gobert. I feel like they're really making a statement. Hey, this is... Playoffs or bust. Playoff series win or bust. You got to expect that team to get to the playoffs.
Yeah, I was just gonna. Anthony's thinking maybe that depth, that bench depth, maybe not as deep as it could be, but I feel like some of those young guys could could probably you know develop into a serviceable bench player. I mean, if they're doing well, maybe they're gonna be big on the trade market. There's Cade Cunningham, Detroit. Sean Maddock. You know, I mean, if they get a, I don't know, there must be some guys still out there on in free agency, right? They can get a uh, a crafty veteran. There's Spencer Dinwiddie to 149, a crafty vet on a one-year deal or something like that, just to fill up that team a little bit. You know, maybe in training camp you got someone that that emerges. There's Anthony Edwards speaking of the Timberwolves, 21 out of 79. Really like his game. That's not no good. Maybe they'll be active in that trade market. If some of those bench guys don't emerge. All right. Rated rookie auto behind SGA. It's Trey Mann. Man. I thought that was going to be his team. No offense to Trey Mann if, he's, if you're watching, but... We're looking for your teammate, Trey. But this still goes to Joe P and the OKC Thunder. Tyrese Halliburton, King's Edition to 199. And there's D Wade right here. Tyrese Halliburton, Orange going to Darren Franz Wagner for Orlando. I feel like Orlando's got a fun young team. And Jonathan Kaminga. Looks great last year as well. Yeah, the free agents tough to get tough to get uh, free agents out to Minnesota, right? But listen, that's why you got you got to be more creative. Can't rely on the free agents, you know. So I hope they'll be active in the trade market come uh, trading deadline. See if they can make some noise. The Orlando team, looking at their depth chart, I still like I still like Markel Fultz's potential, but Markel Fultz is there, Cole Anthony, Jalen Suggs in the backcourt, right? Franz Wagner and his brother Mo Wagner on the team too. Paolo Banchero, their their big draft pick there, and Wendell Carter Jr. in the front court. That's I think that's a pretty good team. Fultz, Cole Anthony, Jalen Suggs, Franz. Paolo, Wendell Carter Jr. Then you still have like some solid guys like, you know, Chumo Kiki, some bench guys, Mo Bamba still out there, Jonathan Isaac, Terrence Ross, and, you know, RJ Hampton. You know, I'm sure Franz's brother, Mo, can get some minutes off the bench too. Intelligent player, can put in some good, good, good second unit, third unit minutes. Yeah, Orlando is a tough one. I just, I just like the names on there. Yeah, if Jonathan Isaac comes back from, comes back healthy from his hiatus, I said that's a that's a team that's pretty well balanced too. Some good spacing, some good balance on the team. And a lot of guys that are kind of in the, in their in similar contract windows. You know what I mean? So you can keep that unit together without too much turnover. Much turnover as something that I know with my Lakers. <laughs> a lot of turnover there. I think they did. They just they overthought it last year. I think they they tinkered with the lineup too much last year. I should think they should have just kept Kuzma, kept Alex Caruso, who had some really great numbers when paired with LeBron James. Some good underlying numbers. I think they tried to do too much. Was Luka Doncic to 199? That's for Dallas, that'll be for Todd. There's another Kate Cunningham, the rookies insert for Detroit, Sean Maddock. Yeah, but it's LeBron in the front office really wanted uh, Russell Westbrook. 
could have had a uh, could have had Buddy. I would have Buddy Hill would have been great on that team. Not the sexiest name out there, but. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how the Lakers are going to do this year. I mean, it all depends on Anthony Davis' health. If he's out for good chunks of the season like he has been, then that's it. I don't think there's there's really anything that the Lakers can do. And even if LeBron and, and, and AD are 100%, that's still, a, that's still a real challenge. I mean, basically, everything would have to go right. And I don't know. It would it would be nice if Russell Westbrook buys in too. If he buys in, that'd be a big help because I don't think he's gonna get traded. Uh, mixed feelings about Patrick Beverly. I think. I guess on paper, I think I think I think he works. He, it's definitely improvement for the squad. But you know, they're gonna need a they're gonna need a lot of help. What I do like though that this off season. I'm a big believer in uh, Laker coach Darvin Ham. I think he's he's the real deal. I, I'm hoping that even in like the post LeBron world that he'll be around for others. Perk, 32 out of 99. So new coach, I think is great. I think starts from the top, right? I think it's one of the better moves that I've seen coaching wise in a long time. Not sold on Rob Polinka, but I think he's I think he's uh, he's pretty much Laker family. So I don't know if we're gonna see him but but right now but but I'd like that they got younger you know they added uh, they added Juan Toscano Anderson they think they still have Wenyan Gabriel on that team we're finally gonna see Kendrick Nunn you know they added Lonnie Walker the fourth Max Christie is their draft pick Thomas Bryant's back with the Lakers and he's improved considerably since his Lakers days, so he can kind of play defense, plug up the middle, and allow Anthony Davis to work, ideally. But they got to play defense, they got to have Westbrook buying in, and uh, they got to stay healthy. That's it. That, and that's, that's to, I think that's to maybe get, maybe be a six seed. More likely a playing spot. Yeah, I hope, I hope it's not a rocky start to his, his coaching career as well. I think he's going to be fine, personally. I think just from what I've read and what, you know, just hearing his press conferences, you know, and I think he's got, I feel like the, the, the if you read between the lines, it really seems like he's going to have a lot of the, uh, he's really going to have, see you guys, see you tomorrow. I feel like there's going to be a lot of, um, I think he's going to get a lot more control of the team than Frank Vogel. I mean, I, I feel bad for Frank Vogel. Apparently he's a really nice guy, but I think, I think even from the get-go, the Lakers were already on the fence about him. If he didn't win that, if he didn't win a title, I feel like they would have moved on from him, but... I think the title bought him a little extra time, but not too much. I think they're always looking elsewhere, which didn't help. You know, I think maybe players probably knew it too. And so, you know, you get a little disrespect from players for him. Um, but, ooh, nice. I was hoping, I was like, I didn't want that sitting on the bottom of the pile if it was a big rookie. Rated rookie hollow, Evan Mobley. Sean Maddock with the Cavs, that's what we want to see. Not sure if I'm liking the centering here, Sean, but may as well send it, to, send it into grading, see what happens. That grades out, if we get lucky, get a nine on that, that'd be a PSA nine on that, that'd be pretty nice. We got a rated rookie, Photon, Davion Mitchell. Nice. Nice little parallel. I do like this introduction of this parallel. That's uh, Darren the Porterhouse Steak with the Kings. So yeah, I think I think hopefully Darvinham will get 
you know, we'll, we'll have the power to, you know, in the backup of the front office. He should be there for a while. Yeah, I know. that. Well, that's another reason why I don't think that's – why, that's another reason why I don't think the Lakers are going to be moving uh, – to 99, Donovan Mitchell are going to be moving Westbrook anytime soon. First of all, Dave. Ooh, and out Davion Mitchell hollow. Look at that, Darren Porterhouse steak. <laughs> Sorry, Oliver. I was hoping you like you had went gone to bed or not not watching, but got the photon Donovan Mitchell and gets the hollow parallel Donovan Mitchell. I don't know. Centering might be a little bit better on this one. Kate Cunningham base that is for Detroit. Sean Maddock. But yeah, I mean, I guess someone would be doing the Lakers a favor if they take Westbrook's expiring deal. I'm not sure if that's going to happen unless the Lakers attach like those future, future picks, which they've been very reluctant to do. But, I mean, if they can swing a deal, I mean, screw the future picks, I say at this point. I mean, we've already mortgaged so much of the future for LeBron, and that's what you have to do. Why are we hesitating? If there is any way to get... Which I don't know why the Pacers would do, but if there's any way to get Miles Turner and and um, am I blanking on the uh, and Buddy Heald to the Lakers, give up those picks. Miles Turner, Anthony Davis front court with Thomas Bryant off the bench, I'll take that. You know, Buddy Heald means you get Patrick Beverly probably off the bench. You know, which sounds better than, uh, you know, which is better than him starting. I mean, that, that, that would make the bench a lot deeper. I mean, there's a lot to like about that. I mean, that, they should have gotten Buddy Heald the year before when they had the chance. Buddy Heald provides that outside shooting that they, that they don't really have. Like, who's shooting threes on this team right here? Russell Westbrook, Patrick Beverly, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Thomas Bryant. There's Malcolm Brogdon to 79. And David Lee, 58 out of 99. Retro series autograph for the Knicks, Wayne. Mm, maybe, Anthony. Uh, the, the initial, unless, unless Bronny like, really lights it up in his, what, junior and senior year, uh... I don't think he's projected to be a first-round pick. Darren with the Pacers. So Lakers, like they did last year, and how they got Max Christie, was they could buy their way into a second-round pick. There's Kemba to 199, and maybe maybe get Bronny there, or if Bronny ends up being an undrafted free agent. Another Davion Mitchell. That's going to be interesting, though, to see what happens with Bronny and what, you know, is someone going to draft Bronny, like, higher than they ever would for a shot at getting LeBron James? But, like, a LeBron James that's, like, two or three years older? I don't know. I have a feeling that LeBron will just signal. Let's do that left-right randomizer. I feel like the LeBron would just signal, listen, don't draft Bronny because I'm staying with the Lakers. Lakers are going to sign him as an undrafted free agent and then put them through the paces of like summer league and all that sort of stuff. Unless, and then the, the wrinkle would be if Bronny, um, if Bronny becomes like a late first round pick or even higher, <laughs> that would be kind of crazy. Then that would be a lot of drama there. Six and a four, 10 times for the left and right side. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. It's going to go to the left side. Left side teams will get him. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for getting this basketball rake done. Great late night rally. And stick with Jaspies. Listen, we're going to be around. We're going to be around when Bronny gets drafted or gets signed as an undrafted free agent by the Lakers. Um, so we'll be breaking basketball, talking basketball, and let, let's see what happens. It'll be a, it'll be a circus for sure. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.